of the day, beautiful people. Top of the day. That's wobbly. That's wobbly. Adjusting my volume here. All right, all right. Today it is Tuesday, January 14, 2020. We are on day 45 of year two, reading through the books of instruction and the prophets. We're in number 16, 17, and 18. So let's go ahead and get started. Tiffany Betwabu Betwabu. All right, Numbers chapter 16. Now Korah, the son of Ishar, the son of Kohath, the son of Lewi, which is Levi, and Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab, and On, the son of Peleth, sons of Reuben, took men, and they rose up before Massa with certain of the children of Yisolili, 250 princes of the assemblies, famous in the congregation, men of renown. And they gathered themselves together against Massa and against Aaron and said unto them, Ye take too much upon you, seeing all the congregation are holy, every one of them, and Yahuwah is among them. Wherefore then lift up ye yourselves above the congregation of Yahuwah. And when Massa heard, he fell upon his face, and he spake unto Korah and unto all his company, saying, Even tomorrow Yahuwah will show whom are his and who is holy, and will cause him to come near unto him. Even unto him he hath chosen what he calls to come near to him. This do, take you censers, Korah, and all his company, and put fire therein, and put incense in before Yahuwah tomorrow. And it shall be that the man whom Yahuwah doth choose, he shall be holy. Ye take too much upon yourselves, ye sons of Lewi. And Master said unto Korah, Here I pray you, ye sons of Lewi, seemeth but a small thing unto you, that the God of Israel has separated you from the congregation of Yisulili, to bring you near to himself to do the service of Yisulili. I'm sorry, wait a minute, I went back up a sentence. I start over verse 9. Seemeth it but a small thing unto you that the God of Esolili has separated you from the congregation of Esolili to bring you near to himself to do service of the tabernacle of Yahuwah and to stand before the congregation to minister unto them. And he hath brought thee near to him and all thy brethren, the sons of Lewi, with thee. And seek ye the priesthood also? For which cause both thou and all thy company are gathered together against Yahuwah? And what, is, and what is Aaron that ye murmur against him? And Massa sent to De and Matha sent to call Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab, which said, We will not come up. It is a small thing that thou hast brought us up out of the land that floweth with milk and honey to kill us in the wilderness, except thou make thyself altogether a prince over us. Moreover, thou hast not brought us into a land that floweth with milk and honey, or giveth us inheritance of the fields and vineyards. Will thou put out the eyes of these men? We will not come up. Basically, what they were saying is, uh, who are you? We men, just like you men. You who will speak to us, just like he speak to you. And Master was very wroth, and he said unto you who would respect not their offering. I have not taken one ass from them, neither have I hurt one of them. And Master said unto Korah, Be thou and all thy company before Yahuwah, thou and they and Aaron tomorrow. And take every man his censer, and put incense in them, and bring ye before Yahuwah every man his censer, two hundred and fifty censers, thou also and Aaron, each of you his censer. And they took every man his censer and put fire in them and laid incense thereon and stood in the door of the tabernacle of the congregation with Massa and Aaron. And Korah gathered all the congregation against them unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And the glory of, Yahir, of Yahuwah appeared unto all the congregation. And Yahuwah spake unto Massa and unto Aaron, saying, Separate yourselves from among this congregation that I may consume them in a moment. And they fell upon their faces and said, O God, the God of spirits of all flesh, Shall one man sin, and wilt thou be wroth with all the congregation? And Yahuwah spake unto Master, saying, Speak unto the congregation, saying, Get you up from about the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. And Master rose up and went unto Dathan and Abiram, and the elders of Yisraeli followed him. And he spake unto the congregation, saying, Depart, I pray you, from the tents of these wicked men, and touch nothing of theirs, lest ye be consumed in all their sins. So they gathered from the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram on every side. And Dathan and Abiram came out and stood in the door of their tents, and their wives, and their sons, and their little children. And Master said, Hereby ye shall know that Yahuwah has sent me to do all these works, for I have not done them of my own. 
oh my. If these men die the common death of all men, or if they be visited after the visitation of all men, then Yahuwah hath not sent me. But if Yahuwah make a new thing, and the earth open her mouth, and swallow them up with all that appertain unto them, and they go down quick into the pit, then ye shall understand that these men have provoked Yahuwah. Top of the day, auntie. And it came to pass as he has made as he had made an end to speaking all these words that the ground clave asunder that was under them, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up, and their houses, and all the men that appertain unto Korah and all their goods. They and all that appertain unto them went down alive into the pit, and the earth closed upon them, and they perished from among the congregation. What a way to go, huh? Mm, mm, mm. They want none of y'all else to run y'all mouth. But you know what? They hard-headed. You know, they still pulling shenanigans. Like, that would have been enough. Seeing Aaron's two sons that died and took in strange fire would have struck. Shucks, you just tell me once. I believe you the first time, all right? You ain't got to tell me. I don't need to experience no kind of punishment. You don't need to whip my child. I've just always been that way. You may, you may tell me once. I may consider... I'm going to think it all the way through. But if somebody else get caught before I do, and they get punished, like, yep, you know what, just throw that out the one. I'm just going to walk straight and narrow. And that's just the path I decided to take in my life. I'm just going to walk the straight and narrow. Now, I ain't going to say I'm always perfect. I may make a mistake, but as soon as I know, I'm going to straighten up because I know there's consequences that come with doing what's wrong. You know, yeah, I just, I ain't got time to be doing what's wrong because they come back for you sooner or later. Somewhere down the timeline and the path of your life, Whatever you didn't just done wrong is waiting for you. The consequence of what you did is waiting for you somewhere on that timeline, right? I ain't got time for that. At least not on purpose, you know. So, y'all get what I'm saying. All right, verse 34. And all ye Salili that were round about them fled at the cry. For they said, at least the earth swallow us up also. And there came out a fire from Yahuwah and consumed the 250 men that offered incense. Mm. And Yahuwah spake unto Master, saying, Speak unto Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, that he take up the censers out of the burning, and scatter thou the fire yonder, for they are hallowed, I mean, they are holy. The censers of these sinners against their own, the censers of these sinners against their own souls, let them make broad plates for a covering of the altar, for they offered them before Yahuwah, for they are hallowed, or they are holy. <clears throat> and they shall be a sign unto the children of Yisulili. Then Eleazar the priest took the brazen censers wherewith that they were burnt had offered. They had, and they were made broad plates for a covering of the altar to be a memorial unto the children of Yisulili that no stranger, which is not of the seed of Aaron, come near to offer incense before Yahuwah, that he be not as Korah in his company as Yahuwah has said. By the hand of Massa. Like, that was, as soon as I would have heard um, Moses and Massa say, yeah, all of you and all you men, y'all going to get sisters. I'm like, sisters? Wait a minute, hold on. Wait a minute. We ain't priests. Wait a minute, hold on. Remember what happened to Aaron's sons and they were priests. They went in off a strange trial. I don't know. Sisters don't sound too right, y'all. I don't know. You know, I'm going to bow out of here. I don't, I don't, mm, I'm sorry. Father, forgive me. I don't, I, mm, he said censor. We ain't supposed to have them, you know, so. They, they, they foolish. They think they're going to beat the system. But on the morrow, all the congregation of the children of Yisraelili murmured against Massa and against Aaron, saying, You've killed the people of Yahuwah. I'm like, didn't y'all hear him? Are all y'all deaf? Are all y'all deaf? None of y'all heard what Yahuwah talked proudly now because y'all keep doing this craziness. But on the morrow, all the congregation of the children of Yisraelili murmured against Massa and against Aaron, saying, You have killed the people of Yahuwah. And it came to pass when the congregation was gathered against Massa and against Aaron that they looked toward the tabernacle of the congregation and behold, the cloud covered it and the glory of Yahuwah appeared. They are like, uh-oh. See, they y'all. <sighs> Come on, Aaron, let's go. You know what time it is. He here. He calling for us. Come on. Everybody knew that. When the cloud was there, let's go. And Massa and Aaron came before the tabernacle of the congregation. And Yahuwah spake unto Massa, saying, Get ye up from among this congregation, that I may consume them as in a moment. And they fell upon their faces. And Massa said unto Aaron, Take a censer, and put fire therein from off the altar, and put on the incense, and go quickly into the congregation, and make atonement for them, for there is wrath going out from Yahuwah. The plague is begun. And as Aaron took, and Aaron took as Moses commanded, 
and ran into the midst of the congregation. And behold, the plague was begun among the people. And he put on the incense and made an atonement for the people. And he stood between the dead and the living, and the plague was stayed. Now they that died in the plague were 14,000 and 700 beside them that died about the matter of Korah. And Aaron returned unto Massa, unto the door of the congregation, and the plague was stayed. All right, y'all, chapter 17 of Numbers. And Yahuwah spake unto Massa, saying, Speak unto the children of Yisulili, and take every one of them a rod, according to the house of their fathers, and of their princes, according to the house of their fathers, twelve rods. Rout, write thou every man's name upon his rod, and thou shalt write Aaron's name upon the rod of Lewi, which is Levi. For one rod shall be for the head of the house of their fathers, and thou shalt lay them up in the tabernacle of the congregation before the testimony where I will meet with you. And it shall come to pass that the man's rod whom I shall choose shall blossom, and I will make to cease from me the murmurings of the children of Yisulili, whereby they murmur against you. And Master spake unto the children of Yisulili, and every one of their princes gave him a rod apiece, for each prince one, according to their father's houses, even twelve rods, and the rod of Aaron was among their rods. And Master laid the rods before Yahuwah in the tabernacle of witness, and it came to pass that on the morrow Massa went into the tabernacle of witness, and behold, the rod of Aaron for the house of Lewi was budded, and brought forth buds and bloom blossoms, and yielded almonds. And Massa brought out all the rods from before Yahuwah unto all the children of Yisulili, and they looked, and every man took his rod. And Yahuwah said unto Massa, Bring Aaron's rod again before the testimony to be kept for a token against the rebels, that thou shalt quite take away their murmurings from me, that they die not. And Massa did so, as Yahuwah commanded him, so did he. And the children of Yisulili spake unto Massa, saying, Behold, we die, we perish, we all perish. Whosoever cometh anything near unto the tabernacle of Yahuwah shall die. We shall be consumed. Shall we be consumed with dying? Last chapter for the day, Numbers chapter 18. And Yahuwah said unto Aaron, Thou and thy sons of thy father's house with thee shall bear the iniquity of the sanctuary. And thou and thy sons with thee shall bear the iniquity of your priesthood. And thy brethren, also the tribe of Lewi, the tribe of thy father, bring thou with thee that they may be joined unto thee and minister unto thee. But thou and thy sons with thee shall minister before the tabernacle of witness. And they shall keep thy charge and the charge of all the tabernacle. Only they shall not come nigh the vessels of the sanctuary and the altar. Neither they nor ye also die. That neither they nor ye also die. And they shall be joined unto thee and keep the charge of the tabernacle of the congregation for the service of the tabernacle. And a stranger shall not come nigh unto you. And you shall keep the charge of the sanctuary unto the charge of the altar, that there be no wrath in any one upon the children of Yisulili. And I, behold, I have taken your brethren of the Levites from among the children of Yisulili. To you they are given as a gift for Yahuwah to do the service of the tabernacle of the congregation. Therefore, thou and thy sons with thee shall keep your priest's office for everything of the altar and within the veil, and ye shall serve. And I have given your priest's office unto you as a service of gift, and the stranger that cometh nigh shall be put to death. And Yahuwah spake unto Aaron, Behold, I also have given thee charge of mine, heave offerings of all the hallowed things of the children of Yisulili. Unto thee have I given them by reason of the anointing, unto thy sons by an ordinance forever. This shall be thine of the most holy things, reserved from the fire, every oblation of theirs, every meat offering of theirs, and every sin offering of theirs, and every trespass offering of theirs, which they shall render unto me, shall be most holy for thee and for thy sons. In the most holy place thou shalt eat it, every male shall eat it, it shall be holy unto thee. And this is thine, the heave offering of their gift, with all the wave offerings of the children of Yisulili, I have given them unto thee, and to thy sons, and to thy daughters with thee, by a statute forever. Every one that is clean in thy house shall eat it, all the best of the oil, and all the best of the wine, and of the wheat, and the first fruits of them which they shall offer unto Yahuwah. Them have I given thee, and who's and whatsoever is right in the, and whatsoever is first right in the land, which they shall bring unto Yahuwah, shall be thine. Every one that is clean in thine house shall eat of it. Everything devoted in 
you so lily shall be thine everything that openeth the matrix and all flesh which they bring unto yahuwah whether it be of men or beasts shall be thine nevertheless the firstborn of man shall surely be redeemed and the firstling of unclean beasts shall thou redeem and those that are to be redeemed from a month old shall thou redeem according to thine estimation for the money of five shekels after the shekel of the sanctuary which is 20 geras but the firstling of a cow or the firstling of a sheep or the firstling of a goat thou shalt not redeem they are holy thou shalt sprinkle their blood upon the altar and thou shalt burn their fat for an offering made by fire for a sweet savor unto yahuwah and the flesh of all i'm sorry and the flesh of them shall be thine and as the wave breast and as the right shoulder are thine all the heave offerings of holy things which the children of Yusalili offer unto Yahuwah have I given thee and thy sons and thy daughters with thee by a statue forever. It is a covenant of salt forever before Yahuwah unto thee and to thy seed with thee. And Yahuwah spake unto Aaron, Thou shalt have no inheritance in their land, neither shalt thou have any part among them. I am thy part and thine inheritance among the children of Yisulili. And behold, I have given the children of Lewi all the tenth that is in Yisulili for an inheritance, for their, ser for their service which they serve, even the service of the tabernacle of the congregation. Neither must the children of Yisulili henceforth come nigh the tabernacle of the congregation, lest they bear sin and die and the levites shall do the service of the tabernacle of the congregation they shall bear their iniquity and it shall be for a statute forever throughout your generations that among all the children of yisulili they have no inheritance but the tithes of the children of yisulili which they offer as a heave offering unto yahuwah i have given to the levites to inherit therefore i have said unto them among the children of yisulili they shall have no inheritance and Yahuwah spake unto Master, saying, Thus speak unto the Levites, and say unto them, When ye take of the children of Yisraeli tithes, which I have given you from them for your inheritance, then ye shall offer up a heave offering of it for Yahuwah, even a tenth part of the tithe. And this is your heave offering. And this your heave offering shall be reckoned unto you as though it were the corn of the threshing floor and as the fullness of the winepress. Thus ye also shall offer a heave offering unto Yahuwah of all your tithes, which ye receive of the children of Yisraeli, and ye shall give thereof, ye, ye shall give thereof Yahuwah's heave offering to Aaron the priest. Out of all your gifts ye shall offer every heave offering of Yahuwah, all the best thereof, even the hallowed part thereof out of it. Therefore thou shalt say unto them, When you have heaved the best portion thereof, then it shall be counted unto the Levites as the increase of the threshing floor, as the increase of the winepress, and ye shall eat it in every place, ye and your households, for it is your reward for your service in the tabernacle of the congregation, and ye shall bear no sin by reason of it. When ye have heaved from it the best of it, or the equaba, the best portion remember the picture of the cornbread that i showed you around the outside where it's a little more darkened but the the middle part where you put the butter on it's nice and soft everybody want to cut out the middle this is the best portion the best part the equaba yahuwah said you get the equaba the best portion and ye shall bear no reason by it when ye have heaved from it the best of it neither shall ye pollute the holy thing of the children of yisraeli lest ye die and that is our reading for today. Good morning, Willie. All right, y'all. So today, recap, it is Tuesday, January the 14th, 2020. Day 45 of year two of reading through the books of instruction and the prophets. We read number 16, 17, and 18. All right, y'all. I'll tell them, hey. All right, y'all. So I hope y'all enjoyed the reading for today. If you came in late, if you missed it, yeah, it's recorded. You can always go back and listen to it if you want to hear my voice. So you just go read it on your own. Number 16, 17, and 18. All right. All right, y'all. So may you who will bless us and keep us. May you who will make his face to shine upon us and lift his countenance upon us and be gracious unto us in our households. And may he give us his peace, his wholeness, his salama, his shalom in all that concerns us in every area of our life. All right, y'all. I love y'all. And I'll see you in the morning. Bruce.